John Gill, Naaman chapter 2, verse 7. Reading from the King James Bible first. And Hezzabah, that's H-U-Z-Z-A-B, will be led away captive. She shall be brought up, and her maid shall lead her as the voice of doves, tambourine upon her breast, unquote. And Heza shall be led captive. The Targum translates it, the queen, and Jarki, and Aben Ezra, after our Samuel, take it to be the same of the queen of Assyria, so called, and as every queen might, from her standing at the king's right hand. Psalms 45, verse 9. Who, when the royal palace was destroyed, was taken out and carried captive with the rest, who before was in a well-settled and tranquil state and condition, or perhaps the king himself is designed, who may be represented as a woman, as follows, for his effeminacy, conversing only with women, imitating their voice, wearing their apparel, and doing their work, spinning, which is the character historians give of the last king of the Assyrians. Some take it to be the idol Venus, worshipped by the Ninevites, though it may be meant either of the palace itself, as Kim Chi's father, which was firm and well-established, or rather Nineveh itself, thought to be stable and secure, the inhabitants of which should be carried into a strange land. She shall be brought up, the queen or the king, of the palace or private retirement, where they were in peace and safety, or Nineveh, and the inhabitants of it are out of a secure state and condition. And her maids shall lead her, her maids of honor supporting her on the right hand and left, ready to sink and faint under her misfortunes. This may also be understood of towns and villages and of the inhabitants of them that should go into captivity along the Ninevites. As with the voice of doves tambourine upon her breast, mourning like doves inwardly and secretly, not daring to express their sorrow more publicly because of their enemies, but knocking and beating upon their breasts as men do upon tambourines or drums, thereby expressing the inward grief of their minds. See Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 16, unquote. Scripture, quote, And Hezba shall be led away captive, she shall be brought up, and her maids shall lead her as with the voice of doves, tambourine upon her breasts, unquote. End of Naaman, chapter 2, verse 7, John Gill.